LVM is a really awesome technology. It's one of those things that I wrote off early on, but came to realize was super useful. I was excited when I found out that you could also use it for virtualization storage pools. This is B from Taytalk Tech, and welcome to the fifth video in my Linux virtualization storage management series covering LVM-based storage pools. Stick with me. I've got a favor to ask. If you like this type of video and want to see more content like it, make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell button for notifications. Also, don't forget to give this video a like if you like it, give it a dislike if you didn't like it, and lastly, let me know what you like, didn't like, or if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or emotional outbursts down in the comments below, let's do this thing. So I'm gonna start by shrinking my face. And I'm gonna show you the output of the LVs command. Now the LVs command is, actually, is going to show us the logical volumes on our system. And you can see in my particular case that I actually have three of them. Now logical volumes are, in, in logical volume, management is a logical means of partitioning storage devices. You could think of it as virtualizing your storage. They are composed of physical volumes and volume groups. Uh, physical volumes are known as PVs and volume groups are known as VGs and the VGs are what make up the logical volumes or the LVs. PVs are physical uh, storage devices on the host system. Think SSDs, hard drives, and NVMe drives. The volume groups are just big piles of that physical storage put into a uh, put into a group that can be used to make up the LVs or the logical volumes, which are just logical storage blocks. Um, this is awesome because it allows for easy allocation and deallocation of storage space. I'm not going to be covering anything more than this. Uh, excuse me, as far as uh, logical volume management, but that is something I plan on covering in the future. So let me know in the comments below if there's anything specific about LVM that you want covered. So let's go ahead and run another command here. The command that we want to run here is going to be sudo, and then we're going to go ahead and run versh, then we're going to do pool, then we're going to do capabilities. All right, then we're going to pipe that into grep, and then we're going to put in a double quote, then a single quote, and we're going to put in logical. And then we're going to close the single quote here. And then we're going to do a space and we're going to put in supported. And then we're going to put equals. And then we're going to put a, another single quote. And we're going to do yes, put a, another single quote. And then we're going to close out the double quote. And what we're doing here is we're running the verse pool capabilities command because we want to see the capabilities of our host system. And we're going to parse that. We're going to parse that output uh, looking for logical supported as yes. Because what this will tell us is if our host machine actually supports uh, LVM based storage pools. If we get output, it will be supported. If we don't get output, it won't be supported. You've probably seen this command in previous videos. So, um, but I also wanted to make sure that I showed it here just to go ahead and make sure that you get the complete picture for those who are not watching all of the videos. So let's go ahead and hit enter. We're going to put in our password. Perfect. And we got output, so we know that it's supported. Amazing. All right. So I've actually already got a volume group that we're going to be using for this. Let's go ahead and do sudo vgs, which is a command that will allow us to see the volume groups on our system. Perfect. And we're going to be using this one right here, which is uh, kvm tac v. G. All right, so let's go ahead and actually get into the commands for creating the uh, storage pool. So we're going to do sudo versh pool define as, and then we're going to go ahead and give it a name. And let's just go ahead and call this, let's go ahead and call this pool LVM. Then we're going to go ahead and put in the type of pool that it's going to be, which is going to be logical. And then we're going to go ahead and put in a tac tac source tac name, which is going to be the volume group that I just showed you, the KVM tac VG. And then we're going to go ahead and give it a target, which is going to be slash dev, because slash dev is where logical volumes live. All right, cool. Now we've got it. So basically what we're saying here is we're saying, hey, with sudo, we're saying, please uh, go ahead and create a storage pool called pool tac LVM. 
It's going to be a logical storage pool. We want to go ahead and use the volume group KVM and then go ahead and, and mount those um, those store those volumes at um, target slash dev. So let's go ahead and hit enter. Perfect. And our pool has been successfully defined. Now let's go ahead and start that pool because since it's log since it's a persistent storage, it's not going to start automatically. So let's do sudo versh pool tack start. And then we're going to go ahead and do pool. Oops, missed the P. LVM. Oops. Perfect. There we go. We've got it started. Now let's go ahead and now that we've got it started, we can see that it is working. Let's go ahead and make sure by creating a storage volume. So we're going to do sudo versh vol tag create tag as, and then we're going to go ahead and select the pool, which is going to be pool tag LVM. And then now we got to give it a tag tech name and then we're going to call this vol lvm and then we're going to go ahead and give it tac tac capacity and we're going to give it two gigs and we're going to go ahead and give it tac tac format to give it a qcow format qcow2 all right perfect so let's go ahead and create the storage volume perfect and the volume has been successfully created so we know that everything um, went great with our pool creation so awesome sauce all right now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and tear everything down like we're godzilla going through tokyo all right so let's do sudo versh ball delete and then we're going to do tac tac pool and then we're going to do pool LVM and then we're going to go ahead and put in vol tag LVM so we can delete the volume perfect and the volume has been deleted now we got to go ahead and shut down the pool let's do sudo verse pool destroy then we're going to do pool tag LVM perfect and the pool has now been shut down now we got to go ahead and delete that pool so we're going to do sudo verse pool undefined pool lvm Ooh, awesome yes yes it all went through successfully perfect all right great so yeah we actually did everything there we got it created we created the volume and then we went ahead and shut it down and deleted it so awesome right lvm is just so cool don't forget to check out the other videos in my linux virtualization series if you are caught up on those videos check out this other video instead lastly thank you so much for watching my video and have the greatest of days